This is Veena, Assistant Professor in the Department of English, Institute of Aeronautical Engineering. Today, we are going to talk about significance of listening skills, which is covered under the topic of Module 1. Now, before we try to understand about the importance of listening skills, we have to know why and what are the aspects which are very, very essential in learning your listening skills. Why is that listening skill is called as the very, very important and first and foremost pillar in learning, in making your communication skills more better. Now, to understand the relevance, to make yourself efficient and to make yourself effective in communication, it is very important to know the significance of all the skills that is listening, speaking, reading and writing. So today we are going to talk about the significance of listening skills. What is the role played by this skill in making your language more effective and accurate without, uh, without any kind of improvisations. You can tactfully use this skill in improving your communication skills. Now, let us get started. What is this listening skill? Why is this skill is regarded as the most important pillar in making your communication skills better? Without listening skill, is learning language possible? Is it okay to make your language accurate and also fluent without the skill of listening? No, it's not possible because listening is the skill which make you understand the message of the others or to respond to the essential information which is addressed. That is, we are encoding the meaning of the text or the message when somebody is talking to us or when we are reading any kind of book, article or any kind of journal. So, listening must be important and it is important to make your communication skills more and more effective. So, let us try to understand the ability of listening in detail and let us try to sort the differences between the word hearing and listening. These both terms look very similar but they address and they allocate in a very other way and a different way. Hearing is the physical ability to hear something but listening is to understand and respond to the particular message that is you are decoding the message and encoding it back with a response only through effective listening. So without listening it is completely not possible to make effective communication. The one who is a efficient listener can make it possible to address all the people in the way they need it and they understand the audience point of view. It will be a one way if you do not understand other people and if you go on put your expressions or thoughts in the way of your communication without understanding the message or expression or thoughts of the other then your communication will be lapsing behind. So it is very important to understand this skill and try to inculcate and develop the strategies to improve your listening skill. Now, listening skill is the ability to accurately receive and interpret messages. If you look into these two terms, accurately, accurately is that which is point to point, that which is specific and correct, accurate, the right information, the right point is to be addressed and interpret. Interpret is to analyze and try to understand in the way it is rendered. So, listening is the ability which accurately receives, that is, takes in and interpret the messages in the communication process. That is the reason it plays pivotal role in making your communication skills very, very effective. Now, listening is a skill of critical significance in all the aspects of your 
of our lives so therefore it is very important to make the things happen possible with proper ability of listening the skills then it is used for maintaining our personal relationships to getting over jobs done to taking notes in the class to figure out which bus listening is a skill of critical significance that which critically evaluates the messaging process of any kind of person and make you understand on what note that person is talking to you and makes you understand analyze interpret the message which is delivered to you in terms of rendering proper relationship between you and the other person now see it helps in maintaining our personal relationships to getting our jobs done to taking notes in the class to figuring out which bus to take to the airport now these are all some aspects some works which can be carried out with this skill what is that maintaining our personal relationship without proper communication without effective communication without proper understanding of each other without proper developing of trust between one to the other you cannot make that communication process successful for that you should have good ability to listen to others first listen try to understand what they are talking to you how is that message rendered to you in what tone what kind of situation it is rendered to you all these aspects help you in developing your relations more and more better and helps you in making effective communication now regardless how we are engaged in listening it is important to understand more than just hearing the words hearing is different isn't it we overhear many things we sit in a bus there are many vehicles moving around us we hear the noise isn't it but we are not listening to them we heard them so we can hear we we can hear the sounds of horns we can hear the sounds of the dumbbells which you are intentionally not paying attention which is only physical that is hearing so here there is lot of difference between hearing and listening we have to understand the relevance we have to understand the importance of these two and understand the differences by making use of this skill so when somebody is talking to you specially addressing you will you be able to listen to or, or hear to him you have to listen to him to understand his thought expression his message and his information so that is where it is very important to have that accurate information about the differentiation between the hearing and the listening now listening is not same as hearing listening skill here it is not at all same it is completely different now let us try to understand in what way and how it is different from each other why listening is different why uh, hearing is different but they both synonymously they both render the same meaning isn't it hearing listening some people think what's the different hearing is something just carried out through physical ability that is to hear the noise you are not paying much intention attention towards it listening is paying attention trying to utter understand the meaning trying to grasp the essence of the information and respond back to that particular person so this is where it is very important and understand the proper differentiation between hearing and listening when your teacher is taking the class you cannot hear to her you can you have to listen to her that is the difference which you have to keep in your mind now hearing refers to the sounds that you hear whereas listening requires more than that just hearing you overhear many noises many sounds isn't it but you are not paying attention towards them when you are moving across moving on a road moving in a vehicle you come across so many sounds or noises are you paying attention to all of them no that is what is 
hearing but listening is something which is not at all same as hearing listening means paying attention not only to the story but how it is told the use of language and voice and how the other person uses his or her body now just try to understand what are the elements which are integrated into the listening skill now listening skill happens not just to listening to others if for example we are taking a story listening to the story is not just one entity which is included in that sort of particular thing here we are going to have a look over how the story is told in what modulation it is told what is the structure of the story what is the emotion built in the story so you are going to focus on all these elements when you are listening so listening is a complete package to under listen understand analyze interpret the message that is what is your listening now in other words it means being both verbal and non verbal remember this listening is not just listening to some verbal or oral message it is listening to the written messages verbal and non verbal what are non verbal gestures the expressions the moods the facial expressions which we convey through our body language which are not verbal so listening can also be this listening can also happen with non verbal communication so we have to be attentive enough to grasp that mood or swing which is performed through a person though he is not talking to you directly you are able to understand him according to his eye contact with you according to his hand gestures or his postures or his facial expressions anything can be the format of listening grasping the attention from the other person now what is the significance of listening skill why are we talking so much about it why is that we are going to specifically say it is the strongest and the very very first and foremost pillar in making your communication effective because without proper listening skill you will not be able to understand others message you will not be able to understand others way of communication towards you such that there is no trust no relation build among you both when you are having a conversation so therefore significance is very very much relevance when it comes to the listening skill now listening is an active process by which we make sense of access and respond to what we hear we are using our sensibility while we are listening we make sense of assess that is we intuitively build that sense of assessing others message when somebody is talking to us listening skills are an important part of effective communication hearing is a physical ability while listening is a skill remember this hearing is the physical ability and listening is the skill there is that dire difference between these two so don't hear to your friends family members or your colleagues or authoritative persons listen to them listen to catch up the proper information effective information which they are trying to convey it to you next listening skills allow one to make sense of and understand what another person is saying it will create that bridge between making you understand and it provides the sense of their notion towards you their perception towards at that particular point so in that way listening skills play a very very important role in making your communication more and more effective now the ability to actively listen demonstrates sincerity and that nothing is being assumed or taken for granted so be an active listener 
if you are an active listener it is proved that it demonstrate the sincerity or uh, in you it shows that you are going to portray yourself you are going to portray your personality you are going to make yourself understand and acknowledge and render your hear towards others message so it is very very important to make the active listening possible while you are talking to others reasons why listening skill is important now let us talk about why this listening skill is important to you and what are the grounds which are necessary to make this listening skills more effective now communicating well consists of two basic parts what are those expressing yourself and listening to others isn't it you have to express yourself when you are communicating and the point to is listen to others you cannot just play the role of a speaker you have to play the role of a listener too isn't it so you have to express yourself that is you have to talk about yourself too while also listening to others now reasons why lis why listening is important basically listening is important on two basic things one is you will be expressing yourself out to others and also you are listening to others while you are talking while you are rendering some information it is also important to listen to others while you are communicating so communication is possible only with the two things if you are only playing the role of a speaker it is not at all possible so be an active listener before you speak out or express yourself so that is very very important to you then many people forget the second part we only talk we only want others to listen to us we don't want others also to talk what we do is we tend to talk and we feel that they have to listen to us and they we never listen to them no it is vice versa if you are talking give the chance to others also to talk and you have to listen to him it is very challenging it is it looks very simple that what is there we can listen effectively there is nothing to talk so much about it but it is very important to understand the basic necessities and the characteristics or the elements of the listening to develop effective listening skills for making your communication more better and effective now let us try to understand what are the main characteristics involved in making your listening skill more and more better now point 1 listening builds trust isn't it when somebody comes to you to share their feelings to share their thoughts or ideas if you are paying attention to them of course there is that relation but it also builds the trust between your relationship they trust you that is the reason they are standing beside you to inform you or to share any kind of thought or idea or expression or any kind of feeling which they have in within them so when someone has come to share anything to you you have to make them the feel that it is the trustworthy element that they have come to you and you are listening to him your way of paying attention towards them surely makes them believe in you and also makes them trust you this makes them more comfortable sharing with you and being open when you pay attention when you are paying play, playing the role of an active listener this will make the other person more comfortable and also they be they will feel safe they will be opening out all those expressions and feelings which are hidden in them and the second most important characteristic is listening reduces misunderstandings when you have a problem with any kind of person try to sit and talk try to sort it out listen to the other person version the basic problem for causing misunderstandings between the relationship is 
we don't listen to the other person's version we always tend to speak out our version and judge the other person saying that that person is wrong this is completely wrong what we are going to do we have to listen to the other person other party's version before we come to any kind of conclusion if there is any sort of disturbance between the relationships so it reduces misunderstandings though being a speaker be a listener if somebody is having some sort of problem with you let them come to come and talk to you or you go and come try to talk to them and listen to their version such that there is no misunderstanding created and all the relationship goes well and it makes you feel better and your friendship remains for ever so this is the most important part which you all have to remember as the young students because this happens very frequently firstly it happens with our friends then once you land up in the professional platform in the workspace this is what happens there must be good rapport between the team members there must be good coordination between the team members as a superior you must lend an ear to every team member of your workspace who are participating in the team and try to listen to their queries try to listen to their concerns such that there is no misunderstanding developed between you and the other people and it will work soon and it you it will be helpful for the growth of your organization next comes listening helps eliminate conflict it will eliminate the conflict that means any kind of problem which is aroused it will eliminate the conflict the problem any kind of problem which arises between you and the other person is solved only through the effective listening skills poor listening skills are at the root of the lot of conflicts if you are unable to lend your ear to others problems then you are a poor listener and that will land up you in very bad zone or a dangerous zone where you do not have any kind of relationships around you who trust you and who feel safe with you so to make yourself good developed and attentive listener see that you are following all the perspectives all the skills which are needed for it be an active listener understand others expressions thoughts and give time and space to the people who like you and who are your family members friends or at least your workspace also it is very very important to make yourself available to listen when somebody comes to talk to you here comes listening encourages empathy what is this empathy that is when you are listening to somebody you must be able to make yourself stand in their own shoes humans are naturally empathetic isn't it if someone come and talk about some problem we almost imagine ourselves in that position and we feel that expression it is inbuilt in us we feel their pain we feel that expression while somebody is there almost that is inbuilt in us so try to make that effective but we all have bias and assumptions that come from our upbringing and experiences we have inbuilt inbuilt empathetic feeling but what do we do we have some assumption about that particular person who come up with the problem so with that assumption though he is feeling bad or though he is sad or though he is facing some problem we don't respond in the way we have to respond don't do that assumptions and uh, having some notion about somebody cannot make somebody's problem solve or your problem solve be empathetic listen listen carefully and understand the true notion true perspective right from a source what is the source what is the cause which is important for the pro, uh, for understanding the other person's information and responding to him is very very vital there comes listening improves business relationships here 
good communication how is this good communication possible it is possible only with good listening and good speaking while making the verbal and non verbal communication possible your business firms can be improved and they can be they attain the development and attain the success only when all your speaking abilities communication abilities will match to the needs of the business firms so however knowledgeable you have whatever scientific knowledge you have acquired whatever ideas new thoughts innovations excavations you have so many things in your brain you are very intelligible knowledgeable but when will all they be portrayed only when you can communicate effectively about all the important perspectives important qualities which you are in yourself so try to make effective communication skills such that your business development will be possible and that for that it is listening skill is the first basic element which you have to develop then comes listening helps deepen your friendships isn't it a friend comes to you only to make you to express his feelings his thoughts his views or any kind of thing we share all our emotions to our friends when you cannot listen to your friend then the friendship ends there you have to maintain the rapport of not just speaking of not just sharing but also listening to your friend now the benefits of listening while in a relationships is greater trust few misunderstandings and more empathy so to acquire these qualities in you all try to become an effective listener to the other person to develop that rapport between your relationships your friends your colleagues your team members and any kind of people then comes listening increases your productivity what is this productivity productivity in terms of gaining knowledge productivity in terms of understanding the dis- different perspectives and notions of the people around you it is the productivity in the development of valuable skills cultural development and all sort of developments is only possible through effective listening skill when you are paying attention towards listening to someone it is obviously becomes productive in making you knowledgeable intelligible and also efficient in making your speaking skills more effective so to talk a lot contribute <clears throat> but listening is arguably more important to talk it will help you to contribute the source of your views but to listen will help you in in and understanding and enhancing your knowledge and your ability so the thing is listening helps with learning new languages apart from all the things it will help you in developing and in learning new languages not just your mother tongue or any of your lang- regional languages it will help you in understanding and knowing the knowledgeable content about many other na- languages which people talk around you so try to don't hear to them listen to the other languages try to understand a new language try to learn a new language you have many sources you have audio books you have e learnings you have exercises you have so much material over net to learn new languages that which helps you in making your professional career improvised so you can adapt to this means in making your language more efficient then comes listening improves your leadership skills as a leader you must have a quality of listening or paying attention towards your team members 
If you are a good leader, you have to try to understand the concerns, the problems, the ideas, the expressions of your team members. A good le a leader is a good listener. So this is the most important aspect. If you are aspiring to be a leader, if you are aspiring to be a team leader, then you have to for sure be a good listener to make everyone give that space to come to talk to you and make you understand their problems. At least try to listen if you are unable to sort it out. That creates the trust, that creates the a good relationship between you and your colleague or your employee, any kind of person. Now, ways to improve your listening skills. What are the ways which will help you in improving your listening skill? That is, listen to the same thing over. That means re-listening. If you are listening to an audio clip, re-listen. Go on, listen to it such that you will understand the language, the texture, the notion, the syntax, the meaning of that particular language. For the first time, it may not be understandable. But for the second time, at least you will understand the little meaning, little overview of that substance which you have heard. And third time, you will understand the structure of the sentences. In this way, if you go on, listen to the same thing over and over, it will help you in understanding more and more better. Then comes passive listening. Take advantage of white, nod, whatever it is. Be a passive listener sometimes. If, if you are joining newly in an organization, be a passive listener for some time. I, I strongly uh, recommend this because you don't know about the policies or the rules or the guidelines or the culture of that particular place as a newcomer for for some time not for every time but for some time be a passive listener try to listen to the people try to understand in what way they are talking what is the culture of that particular office that organization how the people are making the rapport between the team leaders and the superiors how is the work load allotted or what are the things there are many perspectives many things which you have to understand and learn learn as soon as you join in an organization so be a passive listener to make yourself understand and become effective in that particular group or the organization then read out loud <clears throat> Reading out loud will help you in understanding the proper pronunciation, the proper slang, the intonation, the stress, whatever is required for the development of the grammatical structures of the language. Then comes get used to different accents. We have different accents of one particular language. For example, if you take a regional language, even the regional language, at one place they talk with one accent. Other place they talk with other accent. The language is same, but the accent is different. So try to listen to different ac accents. Don't just stick to one accent, okay? That will help you in developing more and more better and more and more effective in the way of your communication. Then listen as you sleep. Just many of them have the habit of listening to songs, music. Of course, it is good. You can also play the videos of language, stories such that it will soothe your ears and also make you understand the language patterns and structures for the development of your languages. Then join a conversation group Always don't be away from the groups. Try to mingle in the groups. Try to converse with the people. Try to listen to the people. Then prepare your conversations before they happen. If you are going to talk, if there is a meeting, try to prepare your conversation. Try to be ready such that you don't look as if you don't know anything. Try to prepare and go and attend your meetings. Now 10 tips which will improve your listening skills. Tip 1. Stay focused, stay focused, stay right active to the person who you are going to listen. Then detect emotion. 
at what particular kind of emotion what is emotion carried out in uh, in that person's uh, message is more important to be identified then ask questions if you don't understand don't sit numb ask a question to the other person for more clarification then don't interrupt if somebody is talking don't interrupt in between after they finish if you have any doubt you can ask but don't interrupt in between that will damage the flow of the other speaker then don't preempt that means don't assume things before don't give some comments in between so don't preempt then recap key facts after the listening is done try to understand and recollect all those key elements which were discussed then pen and paper at the ready see that you jot down some bullet points such that the conversation looks meaningful and it is helpful to you to revise again after that say it again try to review and say it again go on review and say it again such that it will always remain in your mind watch the stereotypes different way of people different kind of notions different kinds of perspectives analysis can be watched be aware of listening barriers just try to understand what are the barriers of listening and try to make away yourself from those barriers now what are those barriers of listening we think we are right and the other person is wrong isn't it when we talk to someone about something or, or some argument is happening we always think we are right and the other person is wrong that is the very very wrong thing which we assume try to pay attention to the others version such that your misunderstanding is cleared then we feel we have to provide help right way don't think that you are the most eligible person to show a way to the other person your suggestion means everything to everything to the other person no don't provide any kind of wrong information to others in the notion that it is right way try to analyze the things sort the things and in a right way we prefer to talk rather than listen this is the most important barrier which we you have to overcome we prefer to talk now from now on prefer to listen rather than talk we are waiting for the gaps or pauses to jump in with your response if somebody is talking and if he, if he has stopped just for a while then we just barge in and give our conclusions or statements regarding that particular topic that is very wrong those are very very bad things which we tend to do actually but try to avoid them next what are the qualities which you have to have as a good listener be attentive ask open ended questions ask probing questions request for clarification paraphrase jot down the points whatever are necessary be attuned to the feelings or emotions of the person whom you are talking to and summarize the content as soon as the speech is got over so in this way try to develop the right means of listening skills such that your communication becomes more and more effective and your professional lives become very soon and also harmonious and it pays ways to the success of your lives thank you like share and subscribe hit the bell icon for more updates